Hey, what's up? This is Todd from the uh, Calico Syndicate, and we're doing an all-access pass today on how to maximize the use of these Yeti coolers. One of the things that you definitely want to do first off is to pre-chill this cooler, and that's how you're going to get the longest uh, use out of the ice that you put in there. So for pre-chilling, what we usually like to do is maybe a few days before your trip, get a bag of ice, throw it in the cooler, and uh, fill the rest up with water and let that soak, let it sit for 24, 48 hours if you can, get the cooler nice and cold. Uh, when you're done with that, you empty that out, load whatever you need inside of it, and then lay the ice on top, and you're gonna be good to go for four, five, maybe even six, seven days, depending on where you're at. So definitely pre-cool that, uh, pre-cool your Yetis before you go out. The next thing we wanna talk about is, is this little gasket inside. Um, this is what keeps everything inside nice and cool. So you want to make sure this is pushed down all the time. So when you are using your Yeti, you don't want to leave it unlatched on your boat or in your trailer or wherever you're using it. Definitely to maximize that gasket, you're going to pop these down and make sure that it's sealed all the time and, uh, and keeping your ice nice and cold and whatever else is in there. All right, so the reason why the ice in your cooler melts a lot of the time is because of the airspace you have in there. After day one, day two of your trip, you're pulling stuff out drinking a few beers, eating up those steaks, whatever you have, now all of a sudden you have air space in your cooler and that air is what's gonna make your ice melt. So one of the things that we usually do on our trips is we'll throw things in. As we start pulling stuff out, we'll throw things in. Usually we like things that are waterproof, you know, that aren't gonna absorb any water. Piece of foam, a pool noodle, empty water bottles. The last trip we were on, we had Churchill fins in there. That's something we usually have on the boat to get those cool underwater shots. So throw those in there. Anything that you have that's not going to absorb water as you take stuff out, throw that in. If you have beach towels, throw them in a big plastic bag and stick them in there. Anything that's going to take up space is going to get you to day five, six, and even seven on that ice. Um, one of the other things, you know, these coolers aren't cheap. Um, when you first hear about Yeti coolers, it's kind of a, a price shock, but once you use one, you know it's all worth it because you're saving tons of money in ice. Um, so you want to lock that Yeti cooler too. Um, Yeti sells locks uh, that they have and it definitely is going to be worthwhile to lock it up uh, and make sure that that Yeti cooler stays with you and not somebody else. So another thing that's really important is, is to make sure you rinse these if, you've had, if you have them in the salt. Um, rinse them, dry them real good. Make sure the inside is dry when you store it. Uh, take that drain plug out, okay? Keep the drain plug inside. Uh, allowing that drain plug to be out uh, is gonna let it uh, dry nicely inside. You close it up with the drain plug and you're sealing in all that moisture and you're gonna have a, a moldy little surprise when you open it back up. All right, another little cheap Yeti accessory that um, will come in handy is uh, having a little extra pack of these drain plugs. Um, th these things get lost, they get unscrewed. Uh, you never know where you're gonna be when you lose your drain plug. You lose your drain plug and you're done for the trip. So these are worthwhile little investment. Keep them with you at all times and you never know when you're gonna need one. So when you're moving your Yeti from spot to spot, you always wanna make sure to use these handles. Lift it up off the ground. You don't wanna be dragging this thing around. It's got these non-skid, non-marking rubber feet on it, which are really important on the deck of a boat. So uh, try to avoid uh, dragging this thing anywhere. Use the handles, get a couple people if you need to, and lift it from spot to spot.